Okay. Okay, thanks for reminding this usually happens with me. Okay. Okay, balanced diet. So, balanced diet, we will be not, uh, in today's class, we will be not going in very much depth. We will be just discussing about all the things we already know. So, what is balanced diet? Balanced diet is a diet in which all the components are present in their proportion in which it should be present. So, balanced diet contributes towards maintaining a healthy life. A diet is inclusion of different necessary nutrients that impact body growth and development. A balanced nutrition diet contributes to maintaining good health by balancing nutrients. This type is extremely crucial to getting the right nutrients and determine good health and growth. Okay, so this all you can study importance of balanced diet, like some things will be summarized here, like it is uh, giving us energy or it is like preventing us from certain disease, like if protein deficiency uh, will be there, then some disease will be there. So if you are taking balanced diet, now, what is balanced diet and uh, what is the importance of balanced diet? So, balanced diet is nothing uh, very uh, hard thing. Balanced diet is that a diet in which all the nutrients are present in the proportion uh, it should present. Like, for example, carbohydrate need to present around uh, 50 60 percent of whole diet should be carbohydrate 20 30 percent of whole diet should be fat 10 15 percent of whole diet should be protein there should be vitamin there should be uh, minerals in your diet present so if all these nutrients are present in good proportion present in a proportion in which they are required in our body then it will be considered as balanced diet it is completely balanced like there is nothing very much and there is nothing very less so this is known as balanced diet so if you are taking balanced diet it means you are giving proper energy proper uh, nutrient to your body means you are if your body needs this much energy you are giving this much um, uh, carbohydrate to your body. If your body required a certain amount of protein, you are giving that amount of protein to your body. So by this, what will happen? Lots of points will be there. Like it will give you energy. It will uh, prevent you from certain disease. But if we we will just think as well, we will just think uh, normally also. Then if you are taking balanced diet, your body will get proper energy, your body will get a proper, uh, it's all requirement will be properly uh, utilized or uh, satisfied. And the other thing is that you will not have any deficiency disease. So these two are the things in balanced diet. Now, uh, I will just summarize all the nutrients, just try to yeah, just try to understand why different nutrients are there. Okay, first question is there are uh, more than 1000, 2000 or we can say there are more than 10,000 chemicals are present in our diet, more than uh, very uh, a uh, large amount of chemical, very large amount of different, different uh, substances are present in our diet. If we will see our diet through some microscope or through some very ultra electron microscope, there are large number of molecules in our diet and the uh, what scientists say, they, they just classified uh, all the things that is present in our diet, they just classified everything in six categories so first thing is that what is the need of classification why we classify something what is the need of this classification
you are asking a question for us yeah yeah i'm saying like why there is need of classification why we are classif uh, classifying different things why we are uh, making group of different things what is the need so we need to come to know what we are eating and what should we need to eat yeah this is the uh, most important thing that's why we started studying diet but what is the need of classification is that for example in uh, india now we cross around 130 crores or 145 crores some people are saying if we wants to study about india then it's not like we will be studying every individual we can just classify them like this is the state or this these people are from this state they will be in one group these are people from northeast they will be in another group these are people from southern region they will be in uh, this group so if we classify things is easy to study them for example i told you there are more than 5000 uh, nutrient that are actually present in our diet if we will just go through the chemical uh, structure or uh, we will just go through the uh, chemistry of all the nutrient but just for the ease of studying a scientist what they did they just classified all the nutrients into carbohydrate protein fat vitamins minerals and water so these are five we can say uh, categories of nutrients in which uh, scientists classified all the molecules all the chemicals all the natural chemicals present in our food like for example if we are classifying people based on their states it's not like uh, all the people within a category will be same for example if we are classifying indian people based on the region first is southern region second is northern region third is north east region so we can just classify uh, all the people and we can study them for example we can say in south people used to eat more rice and in north people used to eat more wheat so this we can say but it's not like all the people they are just eating rice in the south there will be some individual differences also so if we are classifying nutrient it's like all these nutrients have some different characteristic but within these nutrient also there will be some variation for example there will be some type a carbohydrate there will be some type b carbohydrate protein type a protein type b protein so some of the characteristic uh, will be similar inside this whole group and some will be uh, some characteristic will be changing within this group on the basis of which this will be subdivided or another category will be formed so these all are five categories of uh, classification of balanced diet so first is carbohydrate so carbohydrate uh, what our scientists saw they observed that one category in which carbon hydrogen and oxygen only these three nutrients are present and all these uh, molecules all these nutrient are giving us energy so they identified all the nutrient in which carbon hydrogen and oxygen is present they are having a similar chemical structure not very same but a similar chemical structure and all are providing this energy they just kept all those nutrient into this group and named that group as carbohydrate hydrate means water and carbo means it is related to carbon so it contains carbon hydrogen and oxygen 
so this is how they form the first category second category they observe some of the molecules some of the chemicals they are involved in framework of our body and also involved in various enzymes and all and uh, then they just uh, try to identify the chemical structure and they find out along with carbon nitrogen oxygen there is also like presence of nitrogen so they just kept all these molecule which are responsible to make framework of our body which are uh, responsible for formation of all the enzymes in our body they just kept in in the second category and named it as protein third category all the oils and wax all the oil and wax they kept in this category of fat and uh, these oil and wax they are source of very dense energy like for example if you are taking 1 gram of carbohydrate you will get 4 calorie of energy if you will eat 1 gram of fat you will get 8 calorie of energy so these are these are dense a uh, source of energy in this energy was uh, like very much energy is there in this oil and wax so they just kept these things inside this fat and these fat are responsible for framework and various function usually we consider fat as a very harmful thing in our body but fat is very much responsible for our uh, nervous system uh, development for our protection of vital organ this fat is very much important in our body next is vitamins okay just one thing to mention here nowadays people are considering fat as a harmful uh, substance for our body and uh, they are considering fat will cause certain disease yeah it's correct up to some extent like if you will take bad quality fat if you will take uh, like bad fat if you will take it will certainly cause disease in your body but this fat is responsible also responsible for most of the vital function in our body for example nowadays some people are just uh, after seeing some uh, influential video on social media and all they will just skip using fat skip using oil or they will be using uh, olive oil which is having very less lubrication so if you are using that oil it's fine but if you are forcing your uh, children to use that oil if you are giving your uh children that oil only then it will cause uh, a kind of dryness in their body and uh, if you will talk about ayurveda it will increase vata of the children and if you will talk about modern science it will cause nervous uh, system degeneration their nervous system will not develop so fat is very important for our body and if you will talk about children it's very very important next is vitamins so all these carbohydrate protein and fat these have a certain function energy framework and fat also like fat is responsible in framework and energy also and these have a, a specific formula for example carbohydrate is made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen protein is made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen and uh, nitrogen fat is made up of fatty acid the structure of fatty acid we will see but there are some substances which don't have a common structure which don't have a common function so all these substances which are not fitting in any category 
scientists just place everything in these vitamins and minerals so in this category which is present in our earth crust everything they placed in the category of minerals and these are inorganic things in you know, organic things means these are present naturally in earth no living organism are manufacturing these things but in these categories some things are not present in earth just in earth and some living organism are creating these things so those all elements those all nutrients which are present in earth crust and are inorganic in nature they are placed in minerals for example iron phosphorus potassium all are placed in minerals they don't have a similar chemical structure they don't have a similar function next is vitamins all those elements remaining elements which are not present in our earth organic uh, nutrient which are being produced by plant or animal all these things are uh, placed in the category of vitamins so this is classification of nutrient this is how nutrient are classified and why they are in these categories so any doubt is there yes sir sir about vitamin you said uh, they are not present in earth and they are yeah. organic and minerals are present in the earth yeah yeah oh. like for example if uh, soil is there so mineral will be there like iron ore will be there or um, like it will be present in some form but if i will talk about vitamin a so it is not like it is present naturally in earth like some plant or animal will be manufacturing that vitamin or again again you will find it that earth but it was being produced by some living organism only okay sir okay any doubt is there any other if someone else want to ask a question you can ask and if no questions are there then we'll stop here just go through the pdf of that balanced diet or maybe uh, try to study everything about uh, from that pdf i am not just explaining from that pdf because again we will be discussing each and every nutrient in very depth so i don't think there is any benefit of just covering all the nutrients superficially when we will be discussing in depth a uh, description of all the nutrient so it's uh, that's all for today thank you thank you sir thank you thank sir you, when we can expect this pdf sir pdf uh, today maybe uh, we will try to uh, add all you in the drive and uh, uh, today i will try to give access to you all and uh, if not today then i will ask sir and uh, i will share the pdf in group if drive work will not be uh, completed by today okay sir thank you so your class is going to be uh, like uh, you said seven eight days will do diet and nutrition so every day you are going to take the class 9 to 10 yeah every day i will take but actually i am also doing phd so some day some work will be there so we will not do class today but if you are doing class it will be 9 to 10 only okay sir